Hey everyone, today is the third leg of the Philippine Coffee Brewer League and we are here at the Robinson's Place General Santa City. We actually went inside earlier for the ingress of our kettles and right now as you can see in the background they are still setting up the venue. We have a stage, we have LEDs and everyone is just um, so excited to start the competition. We actually have competitors from CBO, Cagayan de Oro, um, Davao, of course, General Santa City, and parts of Manila. I'm not sure if there are un any other um, representations from other regions, but everyone is here. So join me today as we compete in the third leg of the Philippine Coffee Brewer League 2024, right? Let's go! Uh, ako dahil si Dave Michael Ibab, uh, isa sa representative sa Jensen Coffee Association. Hi! Ako dahil ay si Paula Jave Shane Maha. Ginarepresent na ako ang BLCK Gikan sa General Santos City. Hi! I'm Mark James Ambayon from Sip Station Cafe, General Santos City. Hello! My name is Kent from Parks and Mary Co. from General Santos City. Hi! I'm uh, John Michael Rasco from North Cotabato, owner of uh, Bloom Neighborhood Coffee. Hi, my name is Christine Heisel C. Malayan. I am from General Santa City and a member of Barista Association of Region 12. Hi, I'm Oz from BLC and Copy and representing Pulilan Bulacan. Hi, I'm Vincent Morilla, co-owner of Tigris Cafe from Takorong City. Hi, I'm Jaya Barredo from the Filipino Coffee Institute. Ona po siri! Bossing! R.C. Devera po from General Santo City, uh, Side Notes Coffee Shop, uh, and VP of Jensen Coffee Association. Hi, I'm Jetro Bernardo. I'm representing Lab 38, this PCBL 2024. Hello, I'm Christian Nobenza. I'm from I'm Barista from Lab 38, and I'm from Davao City. Hello, good morning. I am Amir Lim from the Alchemy Specialty Coffee from Takorong City. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Dean, and I am from Davao City. I'm a home brewer. Hi everyone, I'm Mark Christopher Biscocho, so I'm from Panabo City, so I'm a home brewer, but I am frequent in Annex Coffee Roasters, Panabo City. Hi guys, I'm Nikki Adrian from Manuel Cruz Low Bar and a member of Jensen Coffee Association. Hi, my name is Theo. I'm the owner of Yokoso Cafe from Cagayan de Oro. I'm Gian James Magad, home brewer from Cagayan de Oro City. Uh, my name is James. I'm from Mata Cafe Rosary and I'm from Pagayan City. I'm Pardi. I'm Hello. from Trails and Waves, Chargao Island. Hello, I'm Romel. I'm from Trails and Waves of Cebu. Hi, I'm Leo, business owner, indoor cafe da from Davao City. Hello, I'm Dot uh, from Latter Day Cafe uh, in Davao City. Hello, my name is Kirk Jan Cereza from Coffee Collab, Takorong City. Hello, good morning. Uh, I'm Amir Wanday from General Santos City. So I'm a full-time barista uh, at Workstation Specialty Coffee. Hi, I'm Yana of Coffee Cup Series. I'm a home brewer and from Manila. Good morning, everyone. So welcome to the very first uh, the Philippine Coffee Brewer League, Gen San. So it's the first one. We're very happy with the turnout. Uh, so we have different groups all the way from uh, for it, we have so Jensan, we have Davao, we have CDO, we have also from Luzon and Cebu as well. No? So thank you for everyone. Give everyone a round of applause for making it up. So before we, we're just waiting for the power to come up and we'll have the copy of the elimination copy. Okay? Remember, it is only in the first round that we will have a copy of the elimination copy. Okay? This is just for us that the first round everyone is on even for the okay everyone will be able to taste the coffee as a cupping standard and then that's where you start to think how do you feel that you can make the coffee taste better and then you start planning right at this point sir raul did a rundown like a quick rundown of all the rules and regulations to remember um, during the competition here you can see that we are actually smelling the coffee that we are about to use so we did the cupping session of the elimination round coffee beans and of course the judges did their calibration as well
while the organizers are preparing, of course, um, the players are just waiting, waiting and excited. I spoke with Mr. Noong and I asked him if I could bring it here. It is my vision that we have a, com a very competitive competition that spans the whole country. And for all of you, to give all of you the opportunity to actually compete in an international event. This will go up against 200 brewers and 20 teams. All right? And Mr. No, if you don't, Mr. No and his wife actually came to judge the first leg. And they said that the way that the brewers, the Philippine brewers, he said they were very, very, very good. And that's why Thailand is waiting for whoever will represent the Philippines. They was very excited, very, very excited to meet them. Finally, the elimination round started. Yeah, there were a lot of first-timers, even though this is the third leg of the Philippine Coffee Brewer League because um, this part of the Philippines is quite far. Yeah, it's quite far. So a lot of the brewers don't have the capacity to go to Manila just to compete for one day. So it is actually a nice gesture for the Philippine Coffee Brewer League to bring the competition in Mindanao or the southern part of the Philippines. Due to the technical difficulty we have, we're going to level it out. No? So you can do your pre-mix now to check your PM, but don't heat up your water yet. You can mix, you can get the water mix that you need right now. For all rounds, guys, for all remaining heats, we will let you do your pre-mix muna, okay? Just to remove any problems with the technical. Nikki, where's Nikki? A new problem in outlet. We have Ken, Daryl, Dave, James, Kurt, and Leo, my best friend. Hands up, hit number four. Practice time starts now. This is my um, practice round. So in this part, you will have to prepare all your equipment and do all the necessary steps um, included in your routine. So like in my routine that I um, developed for this competition, it includes sorting of the beans. So as you can see, the other player on my right was already pouring while I'm still grinding my coffee beans. This is my actual performance on the elimination round. 
Um, so my routine is very simple. The only thing that I added, um, as opposed to other players, was to sort my coffee beans. Yeah, as you can see here, I am grinding my coffee and then I'm preparing my paper. Because in the first round, I used an Aurea, um, Aurea Flat Brewer. This is the version 4, which the bottom attachment is the open. Now I'm actually carefully putting in the coffee so that they have a nice flat level bed and then a very steady, very careful blooming phase. So upon tasting my coffee, I found that it's a bit um, too tight. So as you can see here, I'm using a dropper so that I don't accidentally pour a lot of bypass water into my coffee. So this is very calculated. If you use a dropper, then you, can, you will be able to modulate your bypass very effectively. Here, I'm pouring my coffee onto the serving vessel for the judges to evaluate my coffee. Here, the judges are um, evaluating the coffees. So they are tasting it and grading them um, according to the different aspects of the coffee. So you have your sweetness, your acidity, your body, your balance, and their overall um, quality. So we'd like to ask uh, how were the rules of our contestants today? What were the findings that you know what were the that you observed? Today? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, so far congratulations first um, uh, to all the participants to the competitors. Uh, we were very surprised uh, with regards to all the uh, cups. So, uh, lang mga difference. Eh. Uh, very, uh, what you call this one? Very close yung uh, taste ng bawat uh, group. There are some uh, out, outliers uh, for the taste. But so far, the acidity, the sweetness, the uh, overall the aftertaste were very good. The, the coffee was very, very great. So, I was not expecting uh, uh, this kind of competitions. Uh, uh, lots of learning. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, Sir Roll, for bringing me in uh, Philippine uh, very 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 uh, coffee very very So, so far, congratulations to everyone, and the coffees are very good. Yeah, the coffees are very good. In addition, uh, I think uh, in this kind of competition, we like you guys um, improve your skills because it's more on leveling up your skill on how to calibrate and how to um, understand what you're doing. So the techniques on how uh, you, you choose your parameters to brew your coffee. So far, this, this uh, competition is one of the greatest techniques that we face. Thank you. The first six for heat number one are... James, Paul, Ken, Cardi, Daryl, and Mike. Hey, um, I actually got in the first um, eliminations. So this is the quarterfinals and this is my performance. So in the quarterfinals, I actually adjusted my um, brewer. So the power of the Aurea version 4, you have the versatility to change on the fly because of the different bottom attachments. So in the elimination rounds, I used the flat bottom profile. And then in the second round, in the quarterfinals, I used a conical profile because when Sir Raul and the organizers um, mentioned what 
the second round coffee is I found that I found it to be very sweet so if I used my first brewer which is the flat bottom and um, the trapezoid setup it's going to be a lot sweeter so I used the conical profile this time to lessen that sweetness because of course you always want your coffee to be balanced right Mr. Ahmed for his heat and Miss Powell for her heat. Congratulations, okay, so let's make room. Thank you so much. Top cop is Mr. RJ. Top cop, Mr. RJ. Alright. Get your equipment. Sadly, I didn't, I didn't get in after the second round, so this is the semifinals. You can see here all 12 semifinalists, and they all brewed their coffee at the same time. With a score of 151, which is cup letter E. Let's give it up for Brewer Code 112, Pow, number six. Come on. 5th place with a score of 155.5. Cup letter C. Brewer Code 285, RJ. Fourth place goes to the fourth best brewer of this leg. Brewer code 406, Iana. Three. The top three, two, okay. This is interesting because a lot of them chose a particular cup to win. So the second place cup scored 183.5 with a plus 13 preference score and one cup which is what we call cup A and the winning cup scored 204.5 with a plus 24 preference score Did you guys have fun? I really enjoyed your company. Like, thank you so much for your support. Please be... Just to let you know that Thailand, the Thailand Coffee Brewer League, is opening their doors for volunteers who want to help out with their competition in October. And next season, we hope the Brewer League will be in more leg, in more cities. 
and we will be having the Philippine Coffee Brewer League team battle format. Okay, which is a very, very wonderful format. And I hope to see all of you. Guys, I love you all. Thank you so much. Can you all have a picture? It's for Sir Daryl. <clears throat> check, check. Right, so as you can see, we are back in Manila. We're back at the studio. So um, I traveled earlier today. And yeah, I'm very thankful of that opportunity to compete in a national level competition. And it was a great experience because you get to learn a lot and you get to meet new friends. You get to meet new people in the coffee industry because the coffee industry in the Philippines is very small, right? So yeah, it expands your horizon. Um, you get to learn new things, you get to learn um, different styles, different ways to adjust your coffee on the fly. And yeah, that's just a great experience to have. I want to thank Sir Raul and the Philippine Coffee Brewer League. This is the very first Philippine Coffee Brewer League and I hope there is more. I hope there is another in the next year so I can join again. Um, I also want to thank Sir Dan, Dan Tim Tim from General Santos City. He is the partner host of the whole event. And of course, I want to thank the Jensan Coffee Association, Miss Nikki, Sir Dave, Sir RC, and everyone in the organization. Sir Arnel, of course. Before this competition even started, I messaged them and I asked for assistance because I wanted to travel and explore Jensan and meet the local coffee community and they are very welcoming. They're very warm. Again, thank you so much Jen Jensan Coffee Association for all the assistance that you provided me. The PCBL Leg 3 winners will compete with the Leg 1 winners and the Leg 2 winners this coming September 8th in Tanay at the Philippine Coffee Institute. That will be the grand finals to determine who will be the Philippine representatives to the ASEAN Coffee Brewer League 2024 happening this October. Watch out for that. I'll be making a video of that too. So for now, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for watching the long video. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!